The government is closed. At this point, there is no end in sight, but there are growing rumbles among some Republicans that the House leadership needs to cave, put a bill on the floor that gets the government temporarily back up and running, but does not include any restrictions on Obamacare. But there's no indication from Speaker Boehner that that's a possibility. President Obama is scheduled to leave for Asia on Saturday, but the White House is preparing for the possibility that he may need to stay home. Heels are dug in and Washington is preparing for the long haul. Karen Travers, ABC News, Capitol Hill. And we have team coverage of how this government shutdown is affecting you. First, the center of the situation. Lawmakers can't seem to agree on a budget, but we've learned that Representative Scott Rigel is calling for his fellow Republicans to drop their demands, and we'll have more on the bill that he's proposing. And how is the shutdown affecting your future and your 401k? The experts weigh in. Plus, thousands of DOD workers in Hampton Roads were sent home today, not knowing when they'll return. 13 News now reporter Ernie LeBeau is live outside of Norfolk Navy Shipyard and Ernie what are people telling you there? Well, Janet, all day workers have been coming out of that gate with furlough papers in hand, wondering when this will all end. But because there's just so much uncertainty in this situation, many of them really don't know what to expect. It's sad how they treated us, you know. I got a wife and three kids, so it's going to affect me in a a bad way. It's a frustrating position for many workers at Norfolk Naval Shipyard in Portsmouth to be in. Showing up to work Tuesday morning only to be told to turn around and go home. So how are we supposed to survive? You know, so it's, it's just hard, you know, and disappointing. This is a messed up situation. Government workers I spoke to didn't want to reveal their identities, but they did show me their furlough letters. Some 3,600 civilian workers received them after lawmakers in Washington failed to come up with a budget plan, causing a government shutdown due to lack of money. I have been through this a lot with contractors and now Norfolk Naval, you know, and it's, it's just repeating itself, you know, and it's putting a lot of people out of work and we don't know what we, whether we're going to be able to come back and how long we're going to be out. Still, some of the shipyard's 9,000 total civilian employees will be working just without pay. Others exited the shipyard gates wondering when they could return, how they're going to pay their bills, and waiting for Congress to act. Nobody knows. Um, 30 days, six months, um, we're hearing overnight. At this point, no one's really sure. Now, one thing the people I spoke to were sure of is that Congress isn't doing its job. Coming up at 6, I'll have what they say about our representatives in Washington. Reporting live in Portsmouth, I'm Ernie LeBeau, 13 News Now. Military commissaries were open today, but they won't be tomorrow, and they'll stay closed until Congress reaches a deal to fund the government. All other services offered at the Naval, Naval Exchange will continue throughout the shutdown. And we're hearing from the Defense Health Agency about the effect the shutdown could have on TRICARE. They said you can expect to see some changes in the delivery of services at military hospitals and clinics. Inpatient, acute, and emergency outpatient care will still continue under TRICARE. Republican Scott Rigel weighing in on the government shutdown. The congressman says it's not worth the economic damage to continue this fight. It's not worth it in my view uh, to have the economic pain and I think that uh, the, the best path forward is to pass a full continuing resolution and, and get on with it and fight another day. Rigel called on Democrats to make concessions, and he said that Republicans weren't calling on a full defunding for Obamacare. The congressman is now calling for a bill to fully fund the government. Well, despite the shutdown, the largest part of the Affordable Care Act rolled out today, the health care marketplace. Starting today, you can enroll in a health insurance plan that offers a tax credit toward your monthly premium. There was so much interest online that the government's website for it crashed. Zovon cut the ribbon at the Urban League's Enrollment Festival in Hampton, Virginia. She's uninsured and says she needs subsidized health insurance on the marketplace. 
Says her plan offered through work is too expensive. I have not been to a doctor over the last three or four years. Certified application consultants with the Southeastern Virginia Health Systems came to enroll her and others today. When you get into the application, always safe. But Sylvia Whitaker couldn't even get past the login page. It's already given us a message that we have a lot of visitors on our site right now. Yeah, yeah it is. So it, yeah. This, this may uh -huh. take a few minutes, okay. um, and you may actually have to get go home and do it. Healthcare.gov, the government's website to get people enrolled in a metallic plan, kept crashing. And organizers told us that they couldn't get help from the feds because of the government shutdown. Still, Darius Jones waited to see if he could beat his plan through work. Um, the one in my job seems to be a little steep, so I'm here to see can I find a better plan, actually. Over in Portsmouth, the Hampton Roads Community Health Center, also a certified consultant, stopped trying to use the website. So we resulted to the paper applications, and we actually obtained these from social services. The application is the same form as a Medicaid application, so technically one could use that until the website stops crashing. Either way, Zovon says this setback will not stop her. I'm so happy to see all of these people coming out and signing up for affordable health care. So we wanted to give the website another try in real time. This is healthcare.gov. Once you pick Virginia as your state or North Carolina, you hit apply now. And as of right now, we have a lot of visitors on our site and we're working to make your experience here better. But remember, you do have until December 15th to get coverage that starts January 1st of next year, or in total, you have 181 days left to enroll. Janet. All right, Lucy, thank you. Today's open enrollment leaves out hundreds of thousands in Virginia who won't qualify for a subsidy on the insurance marketplace. A Medicaid expansion would help some of the lower income in the state qualify for help buying insurance through the Affordable Care Act. But Virginia chose not to expand Medicaid. Hampton Social Services employees say it's left them to have to do a lot of explaining. That is the worst feeling ever. And they come in and they need help and you can't do anything. You can't give them anything right. but limited coverage. And many people are being referred to health clinics in the area to get their health care. And it's estimated that 400,000 Virginians could get a subsidy to buy insurance if Medicaid was expanded. While funding was cut off for some Head Start programs around the country today, our local programs are safe for now. 13 News Now learned that the programs for Portsmouth, Norfolk, Chesapeake, Hampton, and Newport News are funded through June 1st. And in York County, the Head Start program is supported by the county itself. The government shutdown could mean disaster for those who depend on the Women, Infant, and Child program, better known as WIC. But here in Virginia, the state is promising not to let that happen. The program provides supplemental food, health care, and nutrition education for pregnant women, mothers, and their children. With so much uncertainty with the federal government, the Virginia Department of Health plans to do everything in its power to make sure that the WIC program remains fully functional. Well, it helps a lot, especially because I have a two-year-old, so, you know, she gets what she needs for her nutrition and all that, and I get what I need. Like they give you actual vouchers, and you go to the store, you buy, like, is that vouchers for milk. For my youngest daughter, she had vouchers for baby food, actual canned milk, which canned milk is, like, $20 a can, so it's very expensive. At a WIC office in Newport News, WIC recipients were picking up vouchers to get them through the next several months. And the government shutdown could also deal a blow to your retirement savings. Experts say that you should keep a very close watch on your 401k accounts. During the last shutdown, the average person lost thousands in just a matter of weeks. And Karen mm. Hopkins is here with more on whether we can expect the same thing this time around. Very scary, Karen. Definitely scary. And what happens is when the government shuts down, the markets can have a negative reaction. And when there's a negative reaction, it's reflected in the value of stocks, which can hurt your 401k. The government shutdown could cause the stock market to drop slightly, and financial experts say you could lose money in your 401k retirement savings. I would say that to, to look at your investment portfolio very carefully, and if you have an investment advisor, consult with them closely. Tidewater Community College business professor Peter Shaw remembers when the government shut down in 1995. The average investors lost $7,000 from their 401ks in just two weeks. Shaw says there's no telling how much you could lose this time around. Uh, but if you're heavily invested in, in uh, defense contractors and so forth, I would definitely pay close attention 
affect any movement. Karen Atkinson is nearly retired and she's counting on her investments paying off. A lot of years of hard work investing in my 401k and so this is a critical time for me. I mean it's money that's uh, earned from hard work. I mean everybody wants to see that they're making a long-term investment and the government's contributing and being responsible about it. Shaw says the good news is that markets are staying steady, at least for now. If this thing drags on for a long period of time, you might see the market react negatively. And if you want to read more advice on this issue, just click on my story on WVEC.com. It's called Government Shutdown Could Hit You in Your 401k. <coughs> Janet. Thank you. And 22 North Carolina Department of Transportation workers are out of work until further notice. The employees got their furlough letters today. Their positions are paid for by federal dollars. NC DOT is still working to figure out how this change might affect public transportation, highway and rail projects that require input or approval from these furloughed workers. Our coverage of the government shutdown and its effects is now over. Coming up at 5.30, we're going to go live to Washington for more on the budget debate. Later, find out what the shutdown means for small businesses and people looking to buy a new home. A terrifying moment of road rage caught on camera. Watch as a group of angry bikers attack a driver on a New York City highway. We'll let you know what pushed them over the edge. And he killed the teen. Now he must pay the price for it. Find out who many years of Virginia Beach teen, how many years of Virginia Beach teen is serving for murder. Plus, customers and workers were rushed out of Walmart today. The investigation into what caused a gas leak there is still going on. Though the excitement of the Neptune Festival's Boardwalk Weekend is past, you still have through October 6th to visit Neptune's Kingdom of Sand, the amazing gallery of sand sculptures from artists from around the world. Visit NeptuneFestival.com for complete details. The 13 News Now Weather Authority, keeping an eye on the tropics, on air, online at WVEC.com, and on your mobile device with the Weathercaster app, as well as Facebook and Twitter updates. This hurricane season, trust the 13 News Now Weather Authority. Call Michael and Son for all your plumbing, electrical, heating, and cooling needs. For a limited time, you can get a two-ton AC system and coil for just $24.99. If you can, we can. Michael and Son. At ABNB Federal Credit Union, we're committed to helping you get more mileage out of your money. We've saved our members an average of $2,395 this year, with rates as low as 1.39% APR on new and used vehicle loans. We'll even refinance your current car to make your ride a little smoother. Great rates and true local service. That's just how we roll. Apply online today. ABNB. Open. Honest. Hard work. It's about good schools. Good teachers. Resources for my students. Educated workers. Ken Cotinelli supported cuts to schools, meaning larger classes. And less individual attention for kids. Cuccinelli opposed increasing teacher pay, even though our teachers make less than in other states. We need the best public schools so businesses can thrive. But Ken Cuccinelli, he's focused on his own agenda. And it's hurting our kids. The NEA Advocacy Fund sponsored this ad, not authorized by any candidate. Haunted Hunt Club Farm's Halloween Festival returns with 300 attractions for one low price. Survive a hayride through the seven deadly sins. Only to be turned around in madness by tortured souls in the village. And zombies in the corn. Visit HuntClubFarm.com if you dare. A great deal starts with a great car. And there's never been a better time to get the Toyota that's perfect for you. Like a sleek new Camry with an inspiring 268 horsepower V6. And available navigation with a backup camera. Search buyatoyota.com to check out all the special offers right now on Camrys and other Toyota favorites. If you want a great deal, you have to start with a great car. Your Toyota dealer is the only place you need to go. Toyota, let's go places. College? We're ready. We're, We're ready. ready. Newport News students have access to 50 advanced placement and college credit courses. Newport News Public Schools, preparing students to be college, career, and citizen ready. Plumbing to electrical, heating to air conditioning. Call Michael and Son today and get up to $250 off a standby generator. If you can, we can. Michael and Son. With the smoothest quiz show host on TV, it'll be a great week of Jeopardy. 
Congratulations, ABC 13, on 60 years of broadcasting excellence. A dangerous road rage altercation caught on camera. It happened on New York City's West Side Highway. According to police, the driver of an SUV accidentally hit a biker and then pulled over. That's when dozens of other bikers surrounded the SUV. The driver tried to get away and hit three other bikers. Police say that the driver was eventually cornered and beaten. His wife and young baby were not injured. One biker has been arrested. And also caught on camera, a store clerk punched in the face over a cigar. It happened near L.A. The man tries to buy a cigar that costs $1.41, but he only has a dollar. The clerk explains he doesn't have enough money. He tries to grab the cigar, then... The man smashes her right in the face. Again, all of this over 41 cents. Other customers call police and try to comfort the clerk as the attacker walks out. And so far, police have not found him. The Virginia Beach teen found guilty of murdering another teen will spend 38 years in prison. Jabril Holliday was sentenced today for killing 17-year-old Cody Scruton. Back in 2011, Scruton's body was found behind a Civic League building off Diamond Springs Road in Virginia Beach. Since Holliday was 15 at the time of the killing, he will spend a few years of his sentence in the juvenile system and then transfer to the Adult Department of Corrections when he turns 21. The trial for one of the accused Eastern Shore arsonists will now happen in Virginia Beach. Tanya Bundick is suspected in dozens of fires intentionally set across Accomack County last year, but she's only charged in one case. Today, the court agreed to move her trial to Virginia Beach. Bundick and Charlie Smith are accused of starting more than 70 fires in Accomack County. The fires began last November and the pair was arrested in April. Last week, Bundick was released from jail on $30,000 bond. A gas leak forced customers and workers at a Walmart to evacuate. And right now, we are checking with city officials to see if the store has reopened. Someone smelled gas inside of the Walmart on North Main Street in Suffolk. The crews came out and discovered carbon monoxide was in the building. Virginia Natural Gas secured the gas line as a precaution, but the source of the carbon monoxide is still being investigated. A motorcyclist is fighting for his life tonight. Just after 12 today, the motorcyclist crashed near the intersection of 16th Street and Pacific Avenue. Details are few right now, but the motorcyclist was taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. As soon as we learn more, we will pass along those details. Now, your weather authority forecast. And a very warm day today across Hampton Roads with lots of sunshine, and it's going to get even warmer. Some folks might even say hot as we go through this work week, but things will improve as we head towards the weekend, although we will have to include a chance of rain by early next week. Nothing out there right now. Live radar is sweeping clear, so we'll go on to one of our Skyview cameras, show you the view out at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. This is our camera on top of the Beach Quarters Resort, and again, that uh, tent there is where they have all the sandcastles from the Neptune Festival this past weekend. They're still out there, and they will be for the rest of the week. So through October 6th, you can go out there if you didn't get a chance to take a look this weekend. And here's what it looks like in downtown Norfolk. This is our Skyview camera on top of Nauticus, and again, you can see some of the folks out there enjoying the very nice weather on the Elizabeth River. Temperature 78 degrees on the south side, 82 on the peninsula, light westerly wind at 6 miles per hour, and some very mild conditions. 78 in Currituck, 82 in Newport News, 79 in Gloucester, it's 82 in Melfa, 80 in Chincoteague, it's 81 in Suffolk, 82 in Williamsburg, and one of the hot spots, Petersburg, coming in right now at 84 degrees. Again, lots of sunshine across the region today, some rain out across the Gulf Stream waters, a couple of clouds popping up across the Appalachian Mountains, but those are falling apart. You have to head all the way back towards the boot heel of Missouri before you run into any wet weather, and even and then it's just a few scattered showers with high pressure and control. We're looking at a lot of sunshine through the rest of the week. And again, early next week, we'll have to include the chance at a few showers. And that's because of a front that'll be approaching early next week. So here's how things will look with future cast. Six o'clock, mainly clear skies. Temperatures in the 70s for just about all of us through seven o'clock. As we head towards nine o'clock, we'll start to drop back into the 60s. And later tonight, we could see a little bit of patchy fog trying to develop, especially some of our inland spots where temperatures will be a few degrees cooler. So as we head into tomorrow morning, 5 a.m., Temperatures in the upper 50s in those inland spots. Again, could be a little bit of patchy fog. We'll be in the mid-60s right along the coastline. And through the morning rush hour, clear skies once again. And notice by the midday hours, are already up into the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. That's about where we were for a high temperature today. And through the afternoon with lots of sunshine, temperatures in the low to mid-80s. So a very warm day tomorrow. 
And it looks like that the very warm weather, as some folks would say, hot weather will stick around through Thursday and Friday as well. I wanted to give a quick check on the tropics. We still have Tropical Storm Jerry. It's just been sitting here for the past couple of days now. Winds of 45 miles per hour. It is stationary. It'll eventually get picked up by a front and start to pull off towards the northeast right here really along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and head off into the Atlantic Ocean. Again, holding its own with winds around 45 miles per hour right through the end of the week and into the weekend. Now there is another area of disturbed weather down in the Gulf of Mexico that could also factor into our extended forecast. We'll take a look at that coming up on 13 News Now at 530. For tonight, mainly clear skies, a little bit of patchy fog possible. We'll go for an overnight low of 60 degrees. Winds out of the southwest at around 5 miles per hour. 84 mostly sunny tomorrow. Winds out of the west at 5 miles per hour. As we look ahead towards the uh, next day there, Thursday, 85 degrees, lots of sunshine. 84 on a Friday with mostly sunny skies, so feeling very summer-like as we head towards the end of the week. As we head into the weekend, 82 on Saturday, 80 on Sunday, and then a cold front will approach from the west. That will give us a chance for some rain possibly into Monday, more likely into Tuesday. And notice it will drop temperatures back into the mid-70s as well. But, you know, I've had the windows open for the past two weeks. Mm -hmm. Might might have to turn on that air conditioner with mid-80s. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. And we need the rain. And we, we really could use some rain. We're mm -hmm. about two and a half inches below normal. Okay. Thanks, Adam. You're welcome. Well, we are following a horrific murder investigation out of North Carolina. A child was the main witness. The man police say is responsible, was in court today, and we'll let you know what happened. Today's weather segment is brought to you by Michael and Son Services. Experience Chesapeake like never before as we celebrate Chesapeake's 50th anniversary. Log on to Chesapeake50.com and see over 50 exciting family-friendly events planned throughout the year. Next, enjoy Premier International Wines in some of Virginia's finest wineries at the 4th Annual Chesapeake Wine Festival. Then, the Great American Food Fest with barbecue, high school beverages, live entertainment, and desserts from many of the area's leading restaurants. See all the exciting events at Chesapeake50.com. That's Chesapeake50.com. I am Regents first ROTC graduate student. So glad you're all here for Mom and Dad's anniversary. And thanks to Cox High Speed Internet and the fastest in-home Wi-Fi, we can all get together uninterrupted. My twin brother Ned in France. Bonjour, family! Uncle Lou in a hot tub. Hello, everyone. And, of course, Aunt Shirley. Paul, I see you haven't used the gym membership I bought you. Interesting yet. story. So, anyway, could I get the salad? Qualifying Internet packages start at $19.99 a month and include a two-year price guarantee and the fastest in-home Wi-Fi. I want a quality doctor, one who sees me as me. Sintera Medical Group does that. I want a doctor who keeps up with the latest treatments. Sintera Medical Group has that covered. I want a doctor with electronic medical records that I can access to. Powered by Sintera eCare, offering Sintera MyChart. Quality and innovation. Sintera Medical Group is here to be your health care partner. Request an appointment today. Commonwealth Memory Care is a total memory care community specializing in Alzheimer and dementia care. We offer services with the respect and compassion our residents deserve in a safe environment with 24-hour trained caregivers. Call us today for more information. Ken Cuccinelli's office secretly helped an out-of-state energy company that ripped off Virginia landowners but gave 100000 to his campaign. What do Virginians say? If you side with an out-of-state energy company over Virginians, you don't deserve to be governor. Ken Cuccinelli cares more about campaign donations than what's right and wrong. Taking the money were downright unethical. He should give that money back. I don't think we can trust him. Ken Cuccinelli is just looking out for himself, not for us. Next Gen Climate Action Committee sponsored this ad. Be the first to see what nature has planned for your day. Be the first to know what's waiting for you on the roads. Be the first to hear the breaking stories that affect you. Get the news that's important to you first with 13 News Daybreak. 
A North Carolina man accused of murdering his neighbors in front of their child made his first appearance in court. The ABC station in Asheville tells us Erwin Jarvis is charged with murder and the judge warned him he could face the death penalty if convicted. Neighbors think Jarvis had an ongoing fight with his neighbors, which escalated when they built a fence. Police think he went to their house last night and shot both of them with their 12 year old son just feet away. Also in North Carolina, a man who sold thousands of counterfeit airbags was just sentenced to seven years in prison. Prosecutors say Igor Borodin used eBay to sell more than 7,000 airbags that he got from Chinese manufacturers. Investigators say they may never know how many of those airbags wound up in cars. Delta Airlines is lightening the load of its 11,000 pilots. The airline is buying all of them Microsoft Surface 2 tablets. They will replace the heavy paper-based flight kits that the pilots currently carry. Delta says the move will save the airline about $13 million a year in fuel and other costs. Pilots flying the Boeing 757 and Boeing 767 fleets will receive the tablets first later this year. The rest of the pilots will get them by the end of 2014. Now we are keeping a very close eye on Washington tonight. It is the first day of the government shutdown. Anchor David Allen is in the newsroom with more on what we're learning at this moment. David. Uh, next at 5.30, lawmakers are at work tonight still trying to pass a budget to end the shutdown. We'll go live to Washington for more on the latest efforts underway. Plus. We did read or hear on the news this morning that things would be shut down, but we weren't, uh, you know, it just, you come here hoping to find some things that are open and that you could still twiddle around in. Visitors in Yorktown found nothing but disappointment today. More on how tourism is taking a hit by the government shutdown. Call Michael and Son for all your plumbing, electrical, heating, and cooling needs. Right now, you can get $100 off a main sewer line cleaning, plus a free camera inspection of the line. If you can't, we can. Michael and Son. Did you know that 70% of all accidents at home happen in the bathroom? And Rebath can help make your bathroom safe. Redesigning your bathroom for safety, comfort, and independence can be the single most important thing that you can do for an independent future. At Rebath, we have several simple solutions to allow you to stay in your home, including walk-in tubs, easy step-in showers, and safety bars. Call Rebath now to save $700 on a walk-in tub. Over the last 20 years, I have been diagnosed with two different cancers. At times, you live from one test to the other. Having very supportive health care givers is extremely important. It is so much of fighting the battle. The changes in our health care system are a big concern to me. Obamacare is dangerous. It can't be implemented. Your well-being, judged by a bureaucrat in D.C., is devastating. I do not want my children to be a name or a number in a computer. They are people. Our government is not organized to take care of us. They aren't. They can't. We are the best in the world. And that's what we want to keep, is the same level of care. I have had the best care in the world, and I want the same for you. Frank, where are all the pumpkins? Pumpkin's back at Dunkin'. Now you tell me. Try the new pumpkin pie donut or any of our other many pumpkin treats today. America runs on Dunkin'. Join the American Heart Association and help fight heart disease and stroke during their annual Heart Walk, October 12th at the Peninsula Town Center. Start your team or donate today. You can make a difference. Visit HamptonRoadsHeartWalk.org and help fight heart disease. Plumbing to electrical, heating to air conditioning. Call Michael and Son today and get up to $250 off a standby generator. If you can't, we can. Michael and Son. Wheel celebrates teachers. All this week. For the latest on the tropics, follow the 13 News Now Weather Authority. Live at 530, this is 13 News Now. The government shutdown has started. Government workers are furloughed. National parks and monuments closed. As the budget battle continues in Washington, an answer appears to be far away. 
it's time for Republicans to stop obsessing over old battles. And while I don't want to shut down government, and I would be for short-term solutions to keep it open, I think we do sometimes have to make a stand and say enough's enough. The federal government right now is shut down after Congress failed to agree on a funding measure by midnight. Today, 800,000 federal workers are off the job. 13 News Now reporter Sue Turner is live in Washington. Sue. Hi, Janet. The latest information is the House is going to try to fund...